Right Addicts, this is DJ Rem. You're live with the band Ashes of Tyranny, and they're gonna, yeah, they're gonna tell us a little bit of what they got going on right now. So, uh, yeah, sit back and enjoy. And how often do you guys get together and practice right now? Uh, we do one Saturday a week, um, just one day a week, uh, usually for about three or four hours, um, and we call that good. Most cases, that's really enough to keep us fresh and uh, know what we're doing. Okay, and where do you guys practice at? Uh, we practice just in uh, my drummer's garage, Josh, garage. Very cool. So I guess, this next question will be for each of you. This always curious to know what kind of um, musical influences you've had in your life, you know, be it growing up or even now, to, to make you want to do something like this. Uh, I'll go first. Um, my biggest two, I'm gonna say, is uh, number one because it came first. Uh, old Metallica. Anything before the Black Album. Um, more precisely, anything where. Cliff Burton was the bassist. Um, that's my first influence, and then my second one later in life, uh, I would have to say Kill Switch Engage. Uh, yeah, this is Brandon. Uh, mine, I'm going to have to go with Jamie on that one, uh, like early Metallica, is kind of really the first part of it, and then uh, I got to throw a lot of tool in there too, because uh, that's always been a big influence. Okay, very cool. What, uh, so just to keep this going, what's your favorite Metallica album? Mine would probably have to be... I I wish I knew the name of it, but whichever one Sanitarium is on. Because that's probably my all-time... Uh, Master of Puppets. Master of Puppets, okay. Yeah, definitely the best album for me because Sanitarium is my number one. I'd like to kill them all for me. Okay, well, Master of Puppets is mine too, so ha, we win. <laughs> it's okay though, Kill 'em All rocks as well, for sure. Okay, so so you guys have been doing this a little over a year or so, and so how um, has it been? Pretty easy to to do this and keep this band going for you guys, or has it been a struggle? Well, I mean, define. Struggle. I mean, you mean like getting shows together, or just like in general dealing with the day-to-day uh, BS that most bands do or don't have. Yeah, I mean, just you know, it definitely, I'm sure, is a lot of work. So, I mean, is, have things been pretty smooth for you guys? Relatively, I'd say actually, yes. I mean, we've had we've had a better go of it than a lot of bands I know of. I mean, we really don't have any infighting or anything like that in the band we're all just sort of down to earth cool guys and we get along and we go to practice and we do our stuff and I mean we we hang out uh, aside from that I mean usually every other weekend uh, our drummer comes over to my house and we just chill and watch a fire and drink some beers so I mean it's, it's just real nice we're all good friends very good and then I'm sure you get asked this a lot but how did you guys come up with the name of the band? Okay. Um, you're going to have to excuse me for being stupid. Because I'm going to tell you the honest truth. Um, okay, have you ever heard of the game World of Warcraft? Yes. Okay. Well, I used to play that like a fiend. Were you addicted to it? And <laughs> I have... I was in a guild, mm-hmm. uh, which the... Guildmaster just sort of did whatever she wanted and, you know, didn't pay much attention to whatever the members wanted or anything like that. So whenever I decided to make my own guild, I named it Ashes of Tyranny. So that's where the name actually came from. But uh, when we formed the band this time around and decided to actually make a go of it, I kept throwing around names. Well, no, this one sucks. Then, you know, Adam would chip in, no, that one sucks too. So, I mean, we <laughs> couldn't decide on anything, and somebody that actually was in the guild uh, with me um, mentioned it, why just, why not Ashes of Tyranny? And I said, 
whatever. I'm sick <laughs> of messing with it. So I brought it up and it flew. Nothing wrong with that. That's not stupid. Jeez. Well, okay, not stupid, but borderline nerdy. Let's go well, with that. Well, okay, so I'm going to make you feel a little better here. My People always ask me where the whole DJ Rem, the Rem part came from, and mine came from back when I start, first started gaming. So, see, we have a connection there. Uh, fair enough, fair enough. So, we, we can both go with n- nerdy gamers, I guess, whatever. I have noticed that, that uh, for a big part, metal and nerds kind of go hand in hand. Hey, you know what? And let the haters hate. That's what I say. Okay, so where is a great place for people to find out more about Ashes of Tyranny? What um, websites and social networking do you guys use? Um, chiefly for social networking, we use Facebook, and that's just, uh, you find Ashes of Tyranny on Facebook. Um, and then for the website, it's just www.ashesoftyranny.com. That's our homepage. It's got oh, I think five or six songs on there or something that people can listen to. We've actually got a store on that as well. Um, and we've actually got a pre-order going right now for uh, Ashes of Tyranny hoodies, tees, and beanies. Okay, very good. So if you're tuned in and you dig these guys, go to their uh, website and go to Facebook and you know what? Buy some tracks, you know, buy some merch, help the band. Stuff they do is not free or cheap, so uh, help them, help these guys out. Speaking of buy some tracks, um, I didn't mention we've got for sale a digital EP, uh, and that's actually what you received. Um, that is at bandcamp.com, and just look for Ashes of Tyranny, and you'll find our eight song EP. And you can buy it for eight bucks or each song for one buck, whichever you choose. Okay, well, very cool. And before I forget, I want to give a big, huge shout-out to the guys at Clawhammer. They hooked us up, and uh, I appreciate appreciate those guys a ton, so thank you to them. And I also want to know, where did you guys record this EP at? What studio did you use? <coughs> uh, my house. This is, uh, this is a self-recorded EP. Um, yeah, so take that for what it is. I think it sounds damn good, so great job. Thank you. So what do you guys do to relax when you're not, um, I think I know the an- this answer, I think sitting by the fire and drinking beer, but anything else you guys like to do to relax when you're not uh, practicing and, uh, you know, doing shows and stuff? Uh, well, I, I myself have, um, have a son and, and a family, so I, I spend some time with them and that helps to relax me. Um, TV is cool as well. Uh, but my favorite is probably the fire and the beers. Uh, I got kids. I got a kid too, so that keeps me pretty busy on my off time. So uh, other than that, I don't know, just kind of like kick it. Okay. Well, props to the kids and bonfires and beer. So. So what sets you guys apart from all the other bands out there? You know, I, I get sent a pile of music all the time and constantly having to go through and pick out what's what's good and what's not. So what do you think sets you guys apart from all these other bands trying to do something like you guys are? Um, I would have to say two things. Um, we do something different with our music than a lot of the other bands do. Uh, most of the other bands either have a new sound or an old sound, and we have both. We take uh, basically uh, classic strategies and classic uh, riffs and melodies and things like that. Now, just things you would hear in, say, 80s metal or urban Metallica, stuff like that, uh, but we put a new twist to it. So you've got your new and your old. We put a, we put a different spin on it. Okay, well, very good. So, you see these guys playing in your area, please uh, hit a show and uh, check them out, because I'm sure that you will not be disappointed. So, speaking speaking of shows, what's the craziest? When I say crazy, it doesn't have to be bad. It can be like a really cool, just amazing moment. But what's what's the craziest thing that ever happened to you at a live show you've done? Craziest thing? Um... I'd probably have to say uh, this was after we 
gotten to the point where we were playing shows like you know a couple of times a month something like that so we were sort of used to it it was old hat we were used to packing up gear and all that crap and uh, we get to the show and it's time for us to set up and uh, Josh goes hey you seen my cymbal bag oh. no where's where's your cymbal bag oh um crap <laughs> so he left his cymbal bag in my garage and we had to beg uh, one of the other bands to let us use it uh, use their cymbals uh, which thankfully they did but that, that was probably um, the craziest thing that's happened so far yeah kind of hard to use them when they're in the garage <laughs> yeah okay so now comes this is the most important question I'm going to ask you tonight so I hope you're ready okay which one of the guys in the band spends the most time uh, in front of a mirror getting ready for a show that's going to be me <laughs> hey you can't blame me I'm the front man come on I gotta look good you gotta look good that's right <laughs> I, I like all the laughing back there that's great yeah, he's like have, he's like that's what I would have said too <laughs> Any any um any pranksters in the band? Anybody that likes to uh, pull practical jokes on each other? I wouldn't say practical jokes. Uh, Brandon and Josh are a big fan of crop dusting. <laughs> um, practical <laughs> jokes, though, no. Okay, that's good. That's all good. Okay, is there anything else you want to make sure everybody uh, knows about Ashley to Tyranny? Anything I haven't asked you that you want to make sure the world knows? Oh boy. Um, I mean, you pretty much covered most of it, if not all of it. Uh, the only thing I might add is just uh, just sort of a quick uh, recap on how our music works. Uh, we have A, wicked good guitar harmonies. B, wicked good vocals. And I'm talking pretty vocals. We call it pretty metal is what we call it. Uh, or heavy metal light, if you will. Uh, but you also have your pieces of the puzzle in there that are very, very heavy. You have screaming. Uh, so there's something for everybody. Okay. Well, very good. Well, I want to remind everybody that's tuned in, immediately following this interview, I have the whole EP, and we're going to uh, play it in its entirety. So uh, you're going to get a full bore blast of Ashes of Tyranny. So I want to thank you guys again for... Uh, for calling in and doing the interview. I'm very much appreciated, and I wish you guys the best of luck in the future. No problem. Thank you. So if you guys don't mind hanging on the line for a minute, though, I'd appreciate it. That'd be fine. And I'm going to cut to tunes. All right. This is DJ Rem with the Crush Beyond Dust show, streaming live on Rock Addict Radio and Metal Devastation Radio. And now it's time for some Ashes of Tyranny. Crank it up.
Figure it out. 